Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Trading Secrets. This channel is for entertainment purposes only and for those of you who do not know, my name is Ali. I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics, business and law. And through this channel I'll be providing some stock analysis and also a short trading lesson at the end, so please stay tuned. Let's start with a quick recap of tick symbol SENS which was featured in the previous video so please refer back to that video for Sensionics. There was a very positive uh, update on there with uh, some important breaking news and a huge catalyst in the share price so please refer back to the Sensionics video. Before we start today's stock analysis I'd like to do a quick uh, shout out to anybody who managed to get into two of the best performing penny stocks that I featured the uh, previous week. Uh, first one is tick symbol MOSY, this was featured in my uh, penny stock video uh, last week so please refer back to that and we can see if you did manage to get into this we can see the growth over the past five days has been an exceptional 97.32%. Uh, this was um, this actually far exceeded my expectations for this stock but uh, nevertheless it's still very very pleasing so this closed at $9.11. The other stock that I featured in my penny stock video previous week, which was a stock uh, that had exceptional growth, uh, well in excess of 1400% over the year. This is Vertex Energy. So again, shout out and congratulations to anybody who managed to get into this stock this week. And we can see here from the chart, this also had an exceptional week, far beyond my expectations again, closing well in excess of 44% up at $8.76. Today's stock analysis for Ehang, um, we're also going to be looking at a news update for tick symbol ABML with some interesting developments there. So let's start first of all with uh, Ehang tick symbol EH. So Ehang is a stock that I have featured previously on this channel. This is a stock that has been subject to a very significant short attack. And if we look at the previous one year history for this, at one time it was up well in excess of um, $124 and coming down very, very significantly since then. So this was featured uh, a few weeks ago and uh, today there has been a news update. So if we look at the ticker on the screen, we can see this stock has had a good week this week, closing up in excess of 20% up on the week at $32.61. So we're gonna look at reasons for this and the prospects for this stock going forward. I'm going to start by having a look at the investor relations page, uh, certainly to recap for uh, existing investors and also to uh, reintroduce for potential new investors in terms of what this company is about. So if we look at the corporate profile here, uh, we can see that eHang is an autonomous aerial vehicle platform company. The mission is to make uh, safe, autonomous and eco-friendly air mobility accessible to everyone. We can see here that they trade on the NASDAQ closing price uh, close of play we saw it was $32.60 so in terms of uh, what else they are saying they are aware that the world is more populated it's more interconnected and traditional urban modes of transportation are going to contribute to much much more pollution congestion so that is a significant problem not only in Europe USA but also going to happen in, in China so this is a Chinese based company trading on the Nasdaq uh, that has previously obviously we can see uh, been subject to extreme volatility, especially with the short attack that happened when the price did achieve in excess of $124, as we've just seen. So let's see what else we, um, uh, we can see about this company on this page. So they are a pioneering uh, company looking at the future of transportation, uh, primarily through autonomous aerial vehicles. Uh, they're also looking at passenger transportation and logistics, smart city management and aerial media solutions. So a lot of critics will say some of the things they are looking at are very unrealistic. They're, a lot of the critics will also say that this is not going to happen. Um, and also, I think uh, I agree with that to some extent, but I do believe long term there is potential in uh, passenger mobility through this drone technology. Um, so it's not going to happen overnight, but I think the potential long term is certainly there. Let's now move on to look at current developments. So this is the Twitter handle for eHang and we can see here uh, there is the, the positive news here that uh, we can see on the um, tweet. Uh, EH216 is made in Japanese 
unmanned and autonomous trial flight. So EH216 was the first passenger grade AAV granted permission for outdoor open airspace trial flights in Japan. So we can see here the company is making developments, the company is carrying out trials and we can see here the, this was broken on the 4th of June 2021. So let's have a little bit more look at more details of this uh, breaking news. I'm going to start by looking at the company news page website here and we can see on June the 4th the headline here is yes they have confirmed that uh, Ehang 216 AAV have conducted trial flights in Japan and this was successfully performed in terms of an unmanned maiden trial flight to showcase the safety the autonomous eco-friendly urban air mobility solution that this will has a potential for. We're now going to look at the potential impact on the share price and this is from Market Watch dated June the 4th 2021 and from this Market Watch headline we can see the impact of that um, maiden flight in Japan is that Ehang shares rise 20% on maiden flight of autonomous aerial vehicles. So overall the market has responded positively. Uh, the share has, price has gone up in excess of 20%. Uh, in terms of this article, we can see that the shares went up uh, to $32.61. The company said that its flagship partner grade, partnership passenger sorry, grade AAV Ehang 216 successfully performed its made in Japanese unmanned autonomous trial flight to showcase the safe, autonomous, eco-friendly urban air mobility solutions that are possible. So the company did get a flight permit for this from... Um, the Ministry of Transport and Tourism in, in Japan through a local partner and uh, this flight was uh, overall successful. Okay I'd now like to get an angle on this from Investor Place again this is also dated 4th of June 2021 and see what we can pick up here. First paragraph here uh, in terms of investors the thing that I can see here in terms of uh, investors it is a good sign in terms of the pricing it hasn't heightened the enthusiasm uh, for the stock and with a good reason so definitely good good uh, positive news here the other thing i'd like to draw your attention to on this article is the final paragraph at the bottom and that is in terms of the future again a lot of critics are saying it is far away but the company has responded by saying the company is closer than we think investors may who may be looking to take advantage of a long-term potential growth stock such as ehang uh, will certainly have gotten uh, aboard uh, on on the Friday so obviously it's going to be a rocky ride it's not going to be a straightforward stock in terms of uh, sustained growth it will be extremely volatile that we have seen however if there are more successful trials and in the future if this certainly takes off then this is has the potential to be an exceptionally good uh, stock Okay, I'm now going to finish off by looking at potential strike price for Ehang and also a price prediction. So in terms of the strike price, we can see in the previous week it did close up uh, at in excess of 19.32% at $32.61. I think there is a possibility of some profit taking in the coming week. Uh, and certainly if you can catch this stock anywhere below $27, that would be a good entry point. Uh, long term, uh, I'm not sh I don't believe this stock will achieve a price again of $124 within the next two to three years. However, I certainly think this um, stock has still got the potential to two or three X uh, over the next uh, two years. So certainly I think over the next two years, I can see this stock getting close to $80. What I'd like to do now is uh, provide an update on American Battery Metals, tick symbol ABML. This is a stock that we have featured quite a few times on this channel. So I'd like to first of all share an article here from uh, Access Wire dated June the 3rd. And the headline here is American Battery Metals Corporation entered into escrow on property located in the Tejo Reno Industrial Park. So we're going to look at why this particular location is very important uh, shortly. Okay, in terms of this agreement, what we can see here in terms of uh, the size, it's 13.8 uh, acres located in Nevada. Uh, this is also part of the Tejo Reno Industrial Park, known as the largest industrial park in the world. So why is this location important? Let's have a look at that now. So what I'd like to do now is give a shout out to Aaron Settle on, uh, from Twitter, who has now provided a very interesting perspective of this new development in terms of American battery metals, what he's pointed 
uh, using pointed out using Google Maps here on the image we can see that it is a four minute drive from the Tesla Giga factory so again this also adds fuel to the fire of rumors uh, regarding a future possible potential EV deal with Tesla so he has stated here notice location and proximity to Tesla whether it has any significance we will find out in the future of course so again as with shares breaking news and rumors uh, do affect the price in a positive way the best way to take advantage of that is if you already have the stock uh, because once the rumors come out the price will have already gone up and it would be too late to benefit from that so long term huge huge potential still for this stock i'd like to finish off now by sharing an article from here from reuters dated june the 4th 2021 this not only affects american battery metals but it also affects the whole ev industry especially tesla ccib and also aqua metals which is a stock that we have featured on this channel a few times so let's have a look at the headline the headline here is biden's electric vehicle plan includes bat battery recycling push so president joe biden's strategy to make the u.s a powerhouse in electric vehicles will include boosting domestic re recycling of batteries to reuse lithium and other metals according to government officials so very very positive headline here it wasn't necessarily reflected in a good outcome for american battery metals in terms of the stock price this week where i think it was just going through a little bit of consolidation and i think long term this is a good sign for the stock the final thing I'd like to draw your attention to now is two important paragraphs from this article that which could certainly affect our stock American battery metals. So let's have a look at these two and why I think these could affect our stock certainly in the coming week. So as Biden makes fighting climate change and competing with China centerpieces of the agenda, the administration is set to wrap up a 100 day review on Friday of gaps in supply chain in key areas, including electric vehicles. So from a supply chain point of view, certainly that means um, electric vehicles and batteries so that's very important in terms of supply and what we can see here in the second paragraph it's followed on by saying the gaps include minerals used in ev batteries and consumer electronics the administration is looking um, for ways to re reduce metro metal usage in new battery chemistries so very important uh, potential news here coming possibly on friday with the 100 day review Due to an extended uh, stock analysis there, uh, the next trading lesson will be in the next video. So thank you very much for joining me and please stay tuned.